yes, y'all, you know what it is. It's them kids and wives and 925s, but we are still married to the games. Episode 325. How about that? Mm-hmm. It's your boy, okay. Gabe Patillo, <laughs> with Tim Router, <laughs> Ed Placentia, and Chris McCracken, oh, of course. And as always, we are talking games and life, life and games. Thank you guys so much for being here. And if I was being completely honest, in this moment, I'm faking it. Nice. Mm-hmm. I am tired. So tired. And I know Edward yes. is tired as well. Yes. Because he just got back, <laughs> just got off that old road. Got off the old road. What's going down with you, man? Oh, not again. too much. Uh, Sarah and I were in uh, Pennsylvania over the weekend. Uh, we left Saturday afternoon uh, and got there late Saturday night and then uh, just got home yesterday, which uh, as of this recording is on Wednesday. And I mm-hmm. uh, got home last night. And uh, yeah, I had a good time. Uh, saw some friends. Saw the Nutcracker. Hey. Oh, cool. Hey. That wasn't part of the good time, but we saw that anyhow. Oh. Um, <laughs> and uh, it was nice. Is the we Nutcracker there. a story or is it just like uh, dancing? It's just I mean, dancing. In the program, yeah. it says, here's the story. Yeah. And then you look at the, what, the dancing and you're like, this is not happening. This is what I'm reading and what I'm seeing. They don't match very well. Really? So it's a bit of a stretch. Uh, but What's the story of the Nutcracker? Do you know? Uh this girl gets a nutcracker as a present and the, the mean little boy breaks it. And then the wizard, she has a dream that a rat comes and there's sword fighting. And then it's the end of the act and they come out and take a bow anyhow, even though the show's not over, but you think it is because everyone's bowing no. and you get your hopes oh, no, up. No, no, yeah, that's no. not over. And then the second, they bow in the middle of it, in the middle of it, at the end of the first act, they bow, then there's intermission then they come back and then they continue dancing and it's horrible. I mean, oh, that's like AI, Steven Spielberg. <laughs> I thought true. that thing was going to end like three different times. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I was like, well, this must be the end. Exactly. Oh, they're fading back up. Yeah. The Nutcracker, it's like AI. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Did they, um, and then what happens in the second act? Uh, more dancing. I'm not sure why. They just have uh-huh. like, here's a Russian dancing. Here's Japanese dancing. Here's this dancing. And it's like, oh, look at all the stereotypes. That's yeah, seems exactly. Like it shouldn't oh, be no. happening. They all really? represent different candies too. Like, uh, yeah, it, yeah. So it's it's kind of like a holiday. It's holiday candy, and then there's this mean old rat king, and you got to defeat the rat king, and and then she wakes up, and it's Christmas Day. I told Ed he should have acted right. like a super fan and went to it dressed as a Nutcracker. That'd At least cool. Nutcracker Zenyatta. Can you imagine someone that dressed like a Nutcracker? would be yeah, incredible. Yeah, Nutcracker! I would just love to see him with that tall hat in front of some parent. <laughs> no, right. I was trying to see their kid dance. He's got a bullhorn purr, 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 right yes. in the middle of it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of the nice things, though, was we stayed with our friend Chris, and uh, I said ahead of time, I said, Chris, is it okay if I bring my PlayStation with me And while you're at work, stream and, and that? And she was like, yeah, that's totally fine. So... Uh, brought out the PSVR as well and got to introduce them to Beat Saber, which they Ooh. all loved. See? Um, so, so much fun okay. doing that. Uh, and uh, yeah, I got to play a little more Red Dead. Still enjoying it, still having a great time, uh, still taking my time. Finally got into chapter four and just oh. doing everything I can wow. to not further the story and just explore and take it all in and wander around, basically do the opposite of what Chris is going through <laughs> and just, see. just uh, you know, it, just taking my time and, and, and loving that. Um, I picked Runner 3 up again and not finished it, it uh, beat, beat it somehow. Oh. Uh, it go. took me a few hours, but I beat it. And I beat yeah, on you did. the normal difficulty, and I was happy to be done with it. Uh, it was, in parts, a real struggle. And then you would get a couple levels that you were like, why did these levels come after the super difficult levels? Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, so there wasn't any kind of a ramp to the end. It was just kind of like a like a graph. When you see those graph charts that spike up and down and you don't mm-hmm. understand what the chart is indicating, it looked like when it was the, the difficulty was that. Like, it's hard right. and now it's easy. and It's it's hard and easy and that kind of thing. So, <laughs> uh, it was, nice. I actually picked it up again last night just to replay a couple levels to see if I could get 100% on them. So I thought I was done with the game. Apparently I'm not. I'm definitely done with the harder levels, but uh, mm-hmm. 
That was fun. And uh, played the Spider-Man DLC. Turf Wars finally got into that. Yeah. And uh, man, just that's such a good story. Uh, and it's yeah. not unlike the first DLC, they throw you right in the middle of it. The first thing you're doing is battling a huge number of villains. So if you haven't played for a while, you definitely want to practice up a bit, a bit before you jump in. Um, and yeah, I got to play some more Overwatch. Uh, with the gang this week, loving Ash, loving that new character so much. Oh, and nice. It's also fun to hear everyone else loving the new character as well, which is, you know, it's, I don't remember the last time a new character came out where so many people were like, I love this character. This is so much fun to play. You know, it was, yes. you know, Hammond, it wasn't like that. And uh, even Moira, at first for me, it wasn't like that. I, I kind of hesitated to jump in. Uh, Doomfist definitely wasn't oh. like that. But this just seems really easy to pick up, this character. Uh, so having a lot of fun and uh, yeah, home safely and yes. all is well here on Walton's Mountain. And the car <laughs> and the car <laughs> held up. The car held up. Yeah, we were having trouble with the starter. We took it into the uh, mm. Sarah couldn't get it to start while we were there in Pennsylvania. So we took it into a mechanic. I got it to start fine. Uh, they said there's a problem with the starter electricity going to it. They did a diagnostic. Yeah, it's definitely the starter. But for some reason, because of cars and reasons i don't understand and and in starter cores they it has to be fixed by the dealer and the uh the what? soonest any any dealer could see us was the 11th so we said well we'll just see if we can't start it up again and then never turn the car off on the way home and that's what we did <laughs> oh my gosh wow. that's hilarious you said you were getting gas with the <laughs> so nervous ga- i've never gassed up know, with right? the engine on before that always scares me i was so nervous my dad used to do that all the time. I was like, what are you doing? He's like, oh, you'll be fine. That. And it always was, but still. still. Cops what? do it all the time. No, yeah. Cops around really? here do it at least all the time. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. Huh. Leave it running and fill it up. I could just, the whole time I'm like, this is such an episode of A Thousand Ways to Die right now. I'm going to be one <laughs> yep. of the episodes. <laughs> yeah, yep. exactly. That's but, Yeah, home mm. safe and everything's good. Good, buddy. That's awesome. Tim Router. Yeah, buddy. What about you, man? Man, topic of the week for Little Miss Piper is Elsa. Our uh, our Christmas elf is back. She's uh, she's being all mischievous in our house, and uh, oh. it's so much it's so much fun. I, I love doing that stuff. Mm. So um, so she's very excited about that. Uh, poor thing. Yeah, Amara says she wanted an elf on a shelf. We, I think we both like just mumbled and like, kept rrr, it moving. Rrr. She was like, "We want an elf. I, you know what? I want an elf on a shelf." We're like, "Oh yeah, look at over there. <laughs> hey, look at this real. shiny. Look at this shiny thing." Mm-hmm. Exactly. I just dangled my keys and then threw them. There you go. <laughs> jangle, 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 jangle. <laughs> See if you like. can go find them. <laughs> yeah. Go find them for daddy. Um, poor thing. Uh, last night she ended up with 101 fever. So she's got oh, something man. going on. She is not going to be at school today, clearly. Um, so mm. she is uh, sleeping right now and just let her sleep as long as possible. Uh, if That's her right. ears or throat starts hurting, then we'll go to the doctor's but. There is uh, some wicked viruses going around. I actually just got over it uh, last week. Um, after I got off the podcast uh, last week on Thursday morning, I woke up and the world was a uh, spinning. I got super dizzy. Mm, uh, what? And uh, it, the dizziness finally went away, but then you just feel motion sick the whole rest of the day. So, so Thursday oh, was wow. kind of a miserable day. And it's all, uh, it's all caused from uh, sinus issues sometimes can affect your... Um, your equilibrium really? and and mm. so it's just you know i didn't take anything for it. i should have probably taken some dramamine but i ended up in the middle of the day taking a nap which is wonderful and uh and yeah. felt a lot better so yeah i'm get, i'm getting over it but now she's got it so that'll be fun yeah on uh on friday it was my in-laws 50th wedding anniversary hey wow. congratulations you guys awesome? yeah we went out to sperry's and um man that place is delicious and got some shoes uh, right <laughs> exactly <Jeez>. got, some, <laughs> got some nice nice shoes there it's great yeah like for their 50th wedding we went to, went to uh, the nike outlet yeah, that's right, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> and and picked up picked up some kicks so Ex- they can be dripping when they exactly, go into the mall exactly yeah. exactly and man uh gabe i have to apologize i Uh-oh. had every intention to swing by during your oh man you don't freaking care man no no, no that's right mm. that's right, exactly right <laughs> no donuts uh, what ended up happening is friday night lauren had a balloon install for early saturday morning um mm-hmm. at a photographer's place right down the street i don't know why i thought you were gonna say incident no no no. so yeah. she, <laughs> like she she had was a balloon at, incident she was right. at the store blowing up balloons and she ended up staying up all night and then i had to come and help her at 5 a.m uh, install these because the event was at eight 
And nah, so man. we're out and it was outdoors, but it, they had a porch and that's when it was pouring rain. So uh, I, I had to stay home with Piper and then my mother-in-law came over um, at like 5.15 and then I left and met her at the store and then we brought all these balloons over and she had to um, put them all up. So we didn't get back until 8.30, 9 o'clock and then we all went to bed. Mm-hmm. And it's just, it was just crazy, man. So I apologize. I was going to bring coffee and donuts like right during your struggle bus time, which probably yes. would have been like in the afternoon on Saturday. And man, it would have been when I started as well. Right, exactly. <laughs> and I'm sorry. I really, I really wanted to come see you, but, uh, but yeah, life just happened and it, it sucked. Um, you got to do what you got to do, baby. I know. I, I get it. You. Um, on Sunday was the tree lighting ceremony here in downtown Franklin, which is always a lot of fun. Um, so, was it so we, well yeah you know i'm kind of i'm kind of with you <laughs> because because they slot it from four th- a lot of build up boy it's true it was a sl- it was slotted from 4 30 to 6 30 and basically there's just a lot of people singing and everybody it gets really crowded and everyone's like all right let's light the tree and then they're out so yeah it could have been that's the weirdest thing could have been about 10 minutes and then that was it i'm but, saying and th- there's no drama no no, it's like, and now we're going to have the so-and-so elementary school sing for you. And it's like, oh, like, here oh, we oh. go. This will be great. Yeah. And like I was told, because we went to, obviously, and we were told <laughs> like, oh, yeah, last year what they did was they turn out all the lights on Main Street. Like yeah. they kill the street lights. They kill all the, the lights oh, around, right, you know, right. all the other Christmas yeah, lights. You're right. And then light the tree. Nope. Didn't no. happen. It's literally like they just flicked a the switch. They're like, ten, they counted out from 10. And yep. what's hilarious is. I don't know if the guy was on radio or whatever, but it was like two, one, pause, pause, pause. Oh wow, pause. pause. Oh, bing, bing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. exactly. <laughs> yep. And it doesn't like come on in sections, and yep. it's just like all one color. So it's like bling yeah. the the lights on, and then everybody makes a mad break for their car. Exactly. Or That's or hilarious. restaurant, either one. It, yeah, it's so funny. Everybody was about to go. Oh, right when. They it didn't light up yet, and then it lit up. So it was one of those, oh uh, yay, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So we did. I mean, it was fun. Piper enjoyed it and whatever. Um, on Tuesday, I had to drive. <laughs> exactly. I had. <laughs> I'm so with you. I know, right? On Tuesday, I had to drive to Memphis to pick up a printer and drive back. That was a lot of fun. Um, Godly. Poor Lauren nice. is having is, ha- is having a heck of a holiday. So her, we have a massive. They have serious printers. Industri- up in there. We have a huge commercial printer. It's an Epson printer. Uh, that she uses. She, she prints out um, cards on sheets and then cuts them. She prints out wrapping paper. She does all kinds of stuff. And of course, when everybody wants Christmas cards and, and that kind of stuff, the printer heads start to go. Now, the printer heads mm-hmm. on this printer cost just about as much as an actual printer. So she called our, our local printing place. They had one of our printers uh, in stock out in Memphis in the, in the warehouse out there. So good old Timmy boy uh, picked up Pauline and Pierre's van that they they have which they generously let, let us borrow and drove over to Memphis, picked it up and drove right back. So that was a lot mm-hmm. of fun. Yep. Um, and then, uh, and then of course, Dickens of a Christmas is this weekend. And um, so you have to explain a little bit what that is. So yeah. that <laughs> it, they, they, they close it, it is set to a Christmas Carol, the, the, the movie, the Christmas Carol. So uh-huh. it kind of goes back to the Charles Dickens, uh, 1800 something uh, London era. And so they closed down Franklin, uh, downtown Franklin and people are in like costumes and they're caroling and there's little children going please sir and uh you know you can do all kinds of fun stuff and it's it's actually really good for the merchants it's a good place for people to come down and shop and um they do have all so there's just people activities. walking around the the downtown area dressed up kind of acting like yep that that's time right yep kind of? you have Ebenezer that's Scrooge right. you have um Jacob Marley um, they're all, yeah, they're all in, in different costume and all in character and it's so fun. Are you been... guys going to be in costume and character oh, or store merchants? heck that no. Heck oh, no. Ah, darn. No, no, no. Ah, <laughs> oh, darn. So, uh, yeah, I actually oh, kind of like that. I like the whole Christmas Carol stuff, so I, I would actually yeah. do that, I think. Yeah, you would. It's, it is a lot of fun. It's, it's I actually time. do wish I could go down and see it. I've never been in town for it. Yeah. And finally I'm in town for it this year and Jenny's out of town. So yeah, of course <laughs> we, w- we won't be doing that. Yep. Nope. Nope. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's Saturday and Sunday and, and my, my poor wife is just running and gunning. She actually, uh, just went to bed, uh, before the podcast started because she had oh, to blow geez. up more balloons for another balloon garland. So the balloon stuff is really taken wow. off, which is, which is hey, really at least great. It's working, baby. Yeah, it's right. really great, but it's very time consuming because you got to blow up all the balloons, then she's got to put them all together. And it's not like just one of those balloon arcs that you see at like races or events and that kind of stuff. These are kind of like 
it's garland, so it can cascade. It can get bigger in one section. It just depends on the venue. And so she goes in and does a consult with the clients and like kind of does a, a graphic representation of what it looks like. They say yes, and then she's off to the races. So she's got something big um, today that she has to install. So the poor thing was in our house blowing up balloons. Uh, fortunately, we have a machine that does that. And, uh, and so she just went to bed as I got up for the podcast. So um, hopefully she'll be able to get some sleep. Um, Gracious. On the gaming front, I defeated the freaking boar on in Assassin's Creed. Oh, nice. Nice. There you go. Nice. I got Good the. Job, uh, dude. I realized that there's a perk that allows you to regenerate a, like 25 percent of your health, and I was not using that. And thank the Lord, I'm mm. using that now because that's gotten me through a lot of situations. I'm still having so much fun with Odyssey, and uh, I as as well, Ed, and just taking my time, going mm -hmm. everywhere not really main missioning anything, just side questing and leveling up and killing mercenaries. And it is just so much fun. So that is it for me. There nice. you go. Christopher McCracken. Yes. Mm. How's it going? What list for a game do you have this week? I have no lists. <laughs> he, you have some exciting news to share. Uh, I do. What are, what? Yeah. Sure. Oh, you mean okay? I got. You. I got. I'm following you now. Sorry. I'm. <laughs> what? How quickly these things just go away? I know, right? Man, I can't remember what I did yesterday. Actually, I can, <laughs> but that's not the point. Um. So last week, uh, Stacy, I think it was Wednesday night. Stacy mm -hmm. texted me and she's like, "Hey, um, do you want to go to a Cowboys game?" And I was like, "Well, yeah." Well, I yeah, said, you do. Hey, are you talking about the one tomorrow night? Because they had played Thursday last week. She's like, "Yeah." I was like, well, heck yeah, I want to go. How are we going? And so it turns out that um, her boss, a vendor, had given her boss two tickets to the game. And mm. she was like, hey, I know you guys are pretty big Cowboys fans and y'all haven't gone to a game in you know a year or two. Would you, would you like to go? And she's all like, oh, oh cool. no, but they gave them to you. And are you sure? And you know, you know, we want you to go and have fun. And she's like, no, 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 I'd rather just give them to you guys. And so she gave us the tickets. You know, She's very sweet about it. And they're like... They're on the 35-yard line, 17 rows up from the field. Wow. wow. Like, nice, Ridiculously dude. good seats. Way better than I've ever had when I went there before. Insanely good. Yeah. And on top of that, it was nice. a very important game, at least on the Cowboys side, because it was like, man, it'd be awesome if they could do this, because they were playing the Saints, who were 10-1 and one at that point. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, it wasn't seeming like they were going to win, but still, I was like, you know, I want to see them go put up a fight. Now, these are great seats. I'm absolutely going to this game. And then they ended up winning. And so it yep. was like ridiculously was electric mm. at this. Congratulations. It was awesome. And I mean, I just couldn't imagine or I couldn't. I was blown away by the experience, honestly. Like I, it That's was really like cool. the best. And the thing is, is that we've been to I think this was our third game in that stadium since it opened. Um, the first time all the other ones we went to were against the Giants and every other game that we saw live, they lost. So it was nice to finally see them win one <laughs> when we were actually yeah. there. So that was amazing. The only bummer I thought was that it was a very defense oriented. Yeah, it was a low scoring game. game. Like, you know, you kind of you kind of hope that like, yeah, you still want them to win, but it would have been nice if it was like, you know, 42 to you 41. Know, or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I, I totally get where you're coming from. But at the same time, considering that nobody this season has held them under like 30 points. I that's found true. that impressive because yeah, this is yep. the first time. So I was like, dang. And I, I was going into it like, look. I feel like they're probably this is considered like the best team in the league right now. And it's mm -hmm. like they're probably not gonna win, but it's like I just want it to be competitive. So the whole time right. I was like, Yes, let's keep this rocking. <laughs> just keep that lead. Just keep it keep your foot on the gas there a little bit. So it was that was a lot awesome. of fun. Um awesome. and then this coming the the weekend was kind of just we didn't really do a whole lot that week the weekend just kinda took took care of th some things around the house and just took it kinda easy. Cause on Monday, um we were gonna go down to a concert in Austin. So we just kind of made like a day trip of it, and we got up pretty early in the morning and drove down, and we went through Waco, stopped in there, did like the Magnolia stuff, and ate at Magnolia Table, um, as we typically do. We got some gifts for some some people, because um, we still have a, a list of people we're trying to, to satisfy of, of that we still need to get gifts for. Um, and then after that, drove through down to Austin, met up with my cousin, and had dinner with her and her husband and their little, little uh, brand new little baby boy. Um, for a little while, and then we went to a concert. We saw Damien Rice, which I think I've mentioned Very on the show nice. before. He's an yeah, an yes, Irish singer songwriter. He his last album that he released was like in 2014, so he hasn't put out mm -hmm. anything new in, in terms of an entire album in a while. And he really doesn't tour super often. And a lot of times when he does, it's just like in Europe and the UK. 
He doesn't come to the U.S. a ton, and when he does, it's it's something. It's either a full-on tour or it's something like what he did this trip. So this trip, he only played a show in New Orleans, Austin, and Santa Fe, and that was it. So hmm. we got to go to the Austin show, which is the middle of the the like little micro tour, if you want to call it that. And it was in this theater in downtown Austin. It was just a great venue. The concert was great. We had a really awesome time, and then uh, drove home the next day. Uh, and used the electric car, and everything went fine. It was all there you go. so it's still working out great. Loving that thing so much. And then that was pretty much it on that front. And I think actually, so one of the things that I had mentioned was a bummer was um, Jenny Gabe's wife is actually down in in Waco right now um, mm-hmm. for uh, what's the name of the event? I don't remember that. Or I think it's I don't know it's a celebration. No, no, it's, it's a, like a, it's, it's a, it's a holiday, like a holiday one, right? at the yeah. silos or something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like that. Well, anyways, I'm um, not sure. so Stacy and I just reached out. We were like, we were talking to uh, my mom, Mama Bread fan, uh, the other day, and we we're like, "Hey, uh, would you want to go to Waco this weekend?" And they're like, "Yeah, we'd love to go." So we're gonna go down there on Saturday again. Oh, you are? Yeah. Oh, yes. nice. Yeah, we're gonna go down there and we're gonna uh, we're gonna see Jenny. Hope wherever she, her little booth is, and try to go by and, and at least chat with her for a little oh, bit. I know she's awesome. probably gonna be super busy. I don't want to like take her away from the stuff she's there to do. But. That's gr- I'm so happy about that. Yeah, oh, she actually man. posted, uh, I had I posted a picture of us down there and she had posted a comment on Instagram saying like, oh my gosh, I missed you by just a couple days. And I was like, I know it's such a bummer. Little, but actually knowing that, hey, we're actually gonna go down there. Right. I'm hoping it's gonna be like a bit of a surprise <laughs> for her. Yeah, that's awesome. Plus I wanted to see the whole, like how it's all dolled up and everything. And we went to the, the other times that she was there and I, I thought it's a cool little event. I like seeing all the different vendors and things like that so we're excited yeah, to go down there and, and see that and then see her and and stop by and check it all out so I'm, that makes me more jealous now that's yeah i know i mean stacy wasn't kidding when she was like hey you should just come out there anyways and bring the kids I know. yeah exactly <laughs> and i was like and then when i stopped uh crying from laughter right. <laughs> yeah, exactly um so on the gaming front uh haven't actually played a ton uh, it's a little bit of the usual suspects devin played some more beat saber played some more runner played some more Red Dead Redemption 2, and I played Overwatch. I haven't gotten to play uh, as Ash as much as some other people, and unfortunately, I'm not really taking to her as much. Not in no. that I don't I don't like her, but like I don't feel like I'm I'm do well with her. Right. So I, whenever we're playing with friends, I tend to let them go ahead and dabble with Ash because they seem to do better than me. It's like, like I don't want to bring our team down. I think she's a cool character, but I, I just haven't really wrapped my head around the mechanics of her yet, and right. I always forget about the the shotgun knockback thing. And oh, I use yeah. Her, and then I, I was uh, struggling with the uh, the uh, the dynamite. So you throw out her dynamite and it'll yes. blow up. But if you shoot it, you can shoot it and it'll blow up earlier. Mm-hmm. But I never could get that down. I was always missing it. And then somebody told me like, oh, if you just throw it and don't move the reticle, like it just lands in the middle of the screen. And you can just shoot it when it hits there. And that, that's right. That definitely yeah. was oh, helpful. Wow. I was like, oh, I never realized I, that either. Oh, yeah, that's I think it actually was it Gabe. That, I think it may yeah, have been it was Gabe. Me that said yeah. it the other night. Gabe said that. I was like, huh. I'm gonna have to try that, and then later on the next day, or, or later on when I wasn't playing with other people, I went like into the whatever the little training area and tried. I was like, "I'll be a son of a gun." You sure can. Nice. Do that. So that's yeah. a lot more helpful. Because I was struggling I with the that. same thing because it gets so little when yeah. you throw it, mm-hmm. and I was like, "Oh, if I, <laughs> it makes sense." Like I'm throwing it where the reticle's at, yep. and so <laughs> I was like, "If you just kind of throw it and strafe back and forth, and maybe don't go up and down too much, mm-hmm. you can you could shoot that thing right away. Boom, bam." I think I can play better. So in terms of all the characters where you scope in, like Widowmaker and Anna, mm-hmm. I think I can use her better than I can those. I like how the scope is kind of open and it doesn't like close off on your vision a bunch. I don't, something about that is a little more helpful to me, but it's still, I'm not quite as good scoped in as I am. Like all the hip fire stuff is great. I can do that fine with her, but it's just like a, it, just like a little tink, tink, tink. It doesn't really do her much. Her reload though, yeah. boy. Yeah, her right. reload She's have the takes longest a while. reload in the whole game, right? Yeah, she's. I think it's like twelve bullets, and she loads each one in individually, or something yeah. crazy like mm-hmm. that. So, yep. but I think she's a really cool character. I just need to see if I can get the hang of her. And if not, you know, I got a plethora of other characters that I'm I'm that's decent right. at, so I can go. actually help the team with. So I'll you be are not there. slacking in heroes, that's for sure. Yeah, that's for sure. And that is it for me, Mr. Patillo. Hold Pol- on, hold on. Oh, yes. Also, Chris, yes. <laughs> you just happened to show up on a little YouTube video this week. Yes, you did. Oh, yes. I, <laughs> yes, I did. So, <laughs> um, How fast we forget. Uh, well, yeah. Well, it snuck up on me too fast because I had no <laughs> yeah, idea yeah, what it, it was going to be. <laughs> yeah. uh, so as I'm sure many people in our community, either they've seen or they've heard us chat about many times on the YouTube charts. 
we, Gabe and myself, had a Chris and Gabe react to The Last of Us 2 that was from PSX like two years ago, I That's think. right. Uh, and I don't even know when it was because they actually, they reached out, Sony reached out to us, which it all went through Gabe because his, his emails are tied to the YouTube account, I think. And um, they basically said, hey, you know, we'd, we'd like to use some of your clips for something. We're like, yes. Uh, I mean, and fill in any gaps that I'm missing here, Gabe. No, um, this is right so like, far. Yeah, yeah, sure. And then it kind of was like radio silent for a good long while, I feel like. And then all of a sudden yep. I'm getting a text from Gabe and he's like, hey, uh, can you check your email? You should have something. And I had some DocuSign thing I needed to sign saying, yes, you can use my, my video clip. And yes, I won't say anything about this. And not that I knew what the heck it was going to be used for anyways. And that was kind of it. <laughs> I know. That was what was so hard about it. I was like, gosh, I kind of like, I want to say something, <laughs> but there's nothing to say yet. <laughs> so I, I thought like maybe they're going to do something. Maybe there'll be something shown at Game Awards or maybe, well, they're not doing PSX. I really had no idea what it was going to be. And then I think it was when we were driving down to Waco and then I got there and then I checked my phone and I had someone at mentioned me on Twitter said, hey, I think I see Breadfan in this video. And it was a, vid a YouTube video that Naughty Dog had tweeted out, and that's where it got used. I was like, oh, well, I guess that's what it's going to be for. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's just this clip of the PSX conference where they announced, they kind of showed the trailer where they were like, oh, we've got something else to show you guys. It's super early in development. We're all vague about what it is, and then just rolled the trailer. And it's this intercut of all these other, other people that I guess all from YouTube where people are reacting to the video. Yeah, it's the and anniversary, the Last of Us 2 reaction from PSX. That's yeah. what they decided to do. And so, again, they on the four corners around the, the video that's playing really in the center, cool. they added in like these clips, and we're cutting back and forth between all these different clips of all these different people that had done reaction videos to it. And uh, my video got thrown up on there a bunch of times. Unfortunately, as any of you guys who have seen it, when we recorded it, Gabe and I recorded it, his video feed had, had something happened to it, and so we ended up only mm -hmm. having his audio. So you oh, hear Gabe's right. audio a couple of times. Um, oh, I just wanted to do the, oh, shoot, oh, freak. Yeah. <laughs> there, there were a ton of them. So I was bad. like, man, I want to hear, I just want to hear, because Gabe's got some amazing lines. Like, yeah, tune that junk up. And tune all that, that junk up, yeah. yep. He's got some amazing lines on there. Um, so You know what's so funny? It was such a coincidence because I was, I was on YouTube. And I'm like, you know, I haven't watched The Last of Us um, reaction in a while. And mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of, it was around this time like two years ago that it happened. So I just watched stars on Married to the Games. And then I commented to the guys like, man, that thing was hilarious. And then Gabe's like, did you see it? And I said, see what? And then he yeah, showed like, me that. I I'm like, they used it. I know. <laughs> he was like, yeah, used for what? Used yeah, what? And funny. so then he sent me the leak. And so it was such a happy coincidence that I was watching that. And then, and then that comes out. So. And then they, they bleep me in the video like I yeah. cuss. They bleep. Oh, really? There's a little piece of yeah. Gabe's audio. And they, you hear like a beep on it. As if he said something, but he, he didn't. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's I, mean, hilarious. I go, oh, shoot, okay, 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 shut up, yeah. shut up, or something like that. And when I say, oh, shoot, they bleep me like oh, I no. curse. And I think it's just to, like, you know, oh, add edge to the yeah, video. Right. I have no idea. Yeah, I think there was oh, one funny. other person where they, they did a bleep as well. And it, I, I'm, I'm assuming kind of like him is like, oh, it makes it seem a little bit more edgier. You know? <laughs> yeah. I, don't know, right? yeah. I just thought it was weird. I was like, uh, they bleeped me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Dang. You rebel, you. Yeah, I know, right? But yeah, that I mean, it's it's kind of crazy. Nice it's kind of crazy as you know, just a video game fan and a huge fan of like Naughty Dog and Sony to see a video that they put on their YouTube channel and then my face is on there. It's like ah, that's mm -hmm. kind of nuts. <laughs> it's amazing. Very it's cool. So amazing. Very cool. Mm -hmm. I like it. All right, Mr. Patillo. Yeah. So you went to the tree lighting as well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> For five <Man>. seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, life has been crazy. Mm. So first off, I obviously have to give a huge shout out to everybody who came through and supported me during Woo. Extra Life. Oh, congrats, yeah, man. man. You did a great right? job. There great were job. so many people that uh, came through and, and donated and helped me smash the goal up. And that was uh, really sweet. Um, it was one of those things where, um, so we've just had kind of like Tim was saying, there's just been sickness all over the place mm. in our house. Mm. And so the night before we started the stream, uh, it was Milo, I think was up throwing up. Oh and, no. And we were like, Oh, 
good and in the back of my brain i'm like <laughs> extremely selfish like right. oh freak like right. i've got to get sleep tonight mm-hmm. and so i'm up with milo uh i think me and him went to bed at like six o'clock in the morning yeah and slept till you know eight when like the whole house is rocking right and then like i tried to like i laid him back down at like you know 10 something because he's sick and i laid down for like an hour and then got back up and then you know at like the nap time that they usually have, you know, right after lunch, I tried to lay back down and sleep for a couple hours, but it's just like, it wasn't happening, man. And so, and I knew I was like, shoot, I have to stream tonight. And so started the stream up and I tried to not allude to it too much, but I was on there and in, in the back of my brain, especially cause I started at nine o'clock at night around probably midnight yeah. <laughs> or one, I was like, I'm not going to make it. Like, yeah. there's, there's, there's like, like Chris said, to steal a line from Chris last week, there was no, uh, no way in any universe that I was going to make mm. this thing happen. Like, I was like, well, I'm going to have to like, just say, Hey, I'll do eight hours now and then do the rest some other time because yeah. I was exhausted. You know what I'm saying? I was so tired already. And it was one of the things that I'll, I'll kind of carry over if I almost say if, but when I do 24 hours of playing again, there's no way I'm starting at night. It's just a bad idea. I remember how to, good uh, of the, an idea it seemed to you going into it. You're like, yeah, that's right. Like four you were like, this out of the is way. the smartest thing ever. <laughs> well, and I feel like it would have been because I would have been able to sleep, you know, a regular night, yeah. do my day. And I'd already talked to Jenny about sleeping up to dinner. So I was like, oh, okay, well, when the kids go down to nap after lunch, I'll go down a little after that, maybe around two or three, sleep till seven, and then get up, do dinner, put them to bed, and then do my 24-hour stream. That sounded right. Mm-hmm. Yep. That is not always, what happened. It's always great in, yeah. on paper. Yep. Oh, man, oh, man. So anyway, people came by and hung out. There's a, a girl named Kirsten that was there with me during like that uh, super like that you know three to five in the morning mm. thing and just kind of like kept me talking and uh which was nice she said she couldn't sleep uh, i think she was from portland or something like that and so uh <laughs> one of the things that was struggling was i i start out the night and i'm like all right i'm gonna play speed runners and let's let's do this story and let's see how long this takes blah 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 mm-hmm. i beat speed runners in 55 minutes oh nice <laughs> that was nice. so funny dude. i was like oh no <laughs> and that game's done yeah that sucks and so uh and I, I too, I have to apologize to the people that watched the first three hours of streaming. I didn't have my settings dialed in too great. So it was like really herky jerky there for like the first three hours. Hmm. And then when I had to switch over to, I had to stop the stream to switch over to Quantum Break. I uh, saw that I was trying to put out 1080p at 60 frames a second. And I was like, oh, Lord, this is a stream. Why am I trying to do that? And so hmm. I bumped it down to 30 frames a second. Then it played a lot smoother after that. So that was nice. Um, and so I played uh, Quantum Break, beat that game. Yeah, that was man. crazy. Um, I think that took n- nine hours or eight hour, eight and a half hours. You flew like through that, that man. Mm-hmm. Did I? Was that yeah. fast? I feel like it was. Yeah. Oh wow. I don't know. Um, yeah, me neither. I never played it before. <laughs> <laughs> but that was fun. I always wanted to play that game. Always wanted to um, sink my teeth into that one. So that was fun to be able to do. Um, and then we did like some Jackbox party pack stuff. And then like, I don't even remember anything else I played. I think I played Call of Duty for a little bit. And I know I you did a little Overwatch? Clash Royale. Oh, yeah. I played Overwatch with the guys, with you guys. Yep. And then at the end I've... there, you were playing uh, a Nintendo game. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then Jenny, and I have to say thank you to you guys. All three of you guys didn't... Didn't Tim I play with you too at some yes, point? Yes, for like two games. Yeah, he jumped in games. there for a couple rounds. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, all three of these guys came in and played some Overwatch with me. So that was that really helped talking. That's one of the things I learned from uh, our bus drivers. They were like, when you don't want to drink coffee and you don't smoke cigarettes, the next best thing to do is talk on the phone. Hmm. They like that's what you know keeps. They say that it re- your phone ringing and you getting on the phone. They say does the same thing to your brain that. Uh, having some caffeine does. Oh wow! Like it start it starts up something in you to where 
you know, you don't get tired. So, uh, or don't, you know, doze off on the phone anyway. Um, I'm rambling, but it was a, it was a great time. And thank you so much to the community. Um, I had a goal of, uh, $500 cause I wanted to go too crazy. Um, and we ended up raising $635 and 18 cents. Very nice. That's awesome. That's awesome. Good deal. 23 well donations. So thank you guys so much. It's fun too, because, you know, we said we were going to give away a game every $300. So, uh, to be able to tip over $600, I was like, okay, good. Now we can give away two games. You know, Ed's raised almost nine hundred dollars. So, if you want another free game, you got to go under Ed's uh, extra life and get that thing over nine hundred. <laughs> we'll go. be giving away uh, some more games. That'd be awesome. Um, <clears throat> and then, as a team, we're now ranked one hundred twenty eighth out nice. of like five thousand. That's awesome. Um, our goal was seventy five hundred. We talked about it. We knew we had beat it already, but mm-hmm. now we're at eight thousand three hundred and thirty one. So fantastic, awesome. brother! Just fantastic, incredible. And I think uh, Neeb's road crew and his wife are going to be streaming this weekend. What? So oh, we sweet! Still have we still have people to go, man? And then uh, I don't remember who it was is going to be streaming at the end of December. So our team is still up and going and kicking, and uh, so. It's going to be fun. I hope we, I want to smash through 9,000 so bad. Yeah. Um, just because it would be, it would be just awesome. So Neves will be going this weekend. We'll be tweeting out his uh, link and everything like that. And so, yeah, it was a, it was a good time. Um, but these jokers just stay sick. So when I finished the stream at nine o'clock at night, Jenny came out and finished it with me with Dr. Mario. And um, we go inside and um, we do get to sleep. Hmm. or do we get to sleep i don't even remember and then remy starts throwing up oh, and we were like, oh man oh sweet and i'm just like a zombie at this point like it's okay you're gonna be fine <laughs> and, you know <laughs> trying to like help clean up the sheets and everything like that and then you know put him to bed he throws up again and you're like oh my gosh so don't get any sleep go back to sleep finally get him rested do that day and then the next day here goes Jenny throwing up. Oh, I was no. like, oh, you got to be kidding me up in here. And wow. so, um, and then like the diarrhea thing started up with yes. Milo yesterday. Mm. And it's just been like a, a vicious, like, I, I don't know if I've gotten over four hours of sleep at one time Yikes. since Jeez. before the stream. Oh man. And so um, I'm on fumes right now. And right. so we had, rehear- we had a, a meeting last night over at Toby's house and I was like, okay, Jenny's gone. When Jenny leaves town, I go to bed really early because I don't have a reason to stay up unless I'm playing some video games. <laughs> right. And so I was like, I'm going to get some good sleep. And then Toby was like, hey, I need to call a meeting. And so we had a tour meeting last night till one o'clock in the morning. Oh, and so right out loud. <laughs> I was like, oh, shoot. And then tonight we've got the video game awards. So me and Chris are going to get on and, and react to the video game awards. And uh, it's, you know, it'll, it's, it's going. You'll get, there. Around, around You'll get here. some sleep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And like Chris said, Jenny's gone, so we're holding it down with all the kids out here. And so, woo! Yeah, it's yeah, it's but... something. Uh, gaming front is just extra life. and um, That was a lot of games, man. You did Overwatch. great. Overwatch. Yeah. yeah. Right? Thank you, guys. Yes. Thanks. Thanks. Okay, Tim. Yes. You got it? Uh-huh. Well, let's do it! All right, new releases this week. Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Story Arc 1, Legacy of the First Blade DLC out, Mm. PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Destiny 2, the Black Armory DLC for the PC, PS4, Xbox One. Gear Club Unlimited 2 for the Switch. Uh, Hearthstone, uh, Rastakhan's Rumble for the PC and mobile. Uh, You know. Just Cause 4, PC, PS4, Xbox One. Monster Boy and the Cursed Kingdom for the PC, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch. Huh. Mutant Year Zero, Road to Eden for the PC, PS4, Xbox One. Override, Mech City Brawl for the PC, PS4, Xbox One. And then I guess Persona is doing something uh, for PlayStation. Persona 3, 4, and 5, Dancing in Moonlight, Dancing All Night, and Dancing in Starlight. I guess they're all mm-hmm. being re-released or something. Yep. They've got a new, uh, isn't that the new dancing game? No, that is was that Persona it? 5. Has got the dancing one. 
Oh, well, it, it says, is. Like, it came out. There's Persona 3 dancing in Moonlight, Persona 4 dancing all night, Persona 5 dancing in Starlight. Yeah, because I think they all have one. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, really? I was okay. wondering what that was all about. Uh, Thronebreaker, The Witcher Tales for the PS4 and Xbox One, Toki for the Switch, Jagged Alliance Rage for the PC, PS4, Xbox One, The Last Remnant Remastered for the PS4, Gungrave VR for the PSVR, uh, Battle Player Unknowns Battlegrounds PUBG for the PS4. I guess official it's, release. Official mm-hmm. release December seventh. Hmm. Subnautica for the PS4, Xbox One. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate for the Switch comes out on Friday. There, I got my Nintendo out of the way. Uh, mm-hmm. And then, uh, Gabe, doth my eyes deceive me? But I believe Gwent, the Witcher card game, comes out this week. Oh, on place, really? On PS4 huh. and Xbox One. Out of beta, all right now. Ah. So you can that, jump back in. Yeah, that could nope. be interesting. <laughs> nope, <laughs> not gonna no. happen. <laughs> not with no. But I love. I played the beta like crazy. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, so we really technically didn't have any oops. There was a lot of back and forth going on about. Uh, Chris's comments about the graphics between uh, AC Odyssey and Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> All of those were opinion oops. I'm not going to read any of them because it was a lot of back and forth. Chris, you you gave your points. People yeah. gave It was just a debate. It was friendly. Yeah, it was nothing. It was good. No. You know what? Yeah, well, yeah. Speaking no, it, of opinion oopses, because Chris, you went on so long about Red Dead last week, mm-hmm. I just want to know, are you enjoying it more or less this week? Because after that huge list you had, I, mm, yeah. I was like, I can't wait to hear how he likes it this week. So oh, I yeah. didn't overall, I didn't get to play a ton um, like this oh, weekend, okay. even, right. even though it was it was light on stuff we had to do. We were doing a lot of little bitty things, so I didn't spend a ton of guy, time gaming. And when I did, uh, Stacy and I would do like Beat Saber together or we played oh, okay. Overwatch together. So I, I haven't played a ton. I'm still not at chapter three, which I, I thought I would have been. But I checked the last time I did boot it up and I haven't gotten there. I found this cool hat that the trapper makes where it's got like a snake oh, yeah. on it and I want that hat and apparently I'm trying to figure out what it takes to get the hat. Um, so I'm still still doing it, but I, I, if I were to be honest with myself right now, I don't think I'm going to see this game to the end of the yeah. story. But you never know because it, I really do, I definitely want to hit chapter three because I hear that's where the story really clamps down and you focus it more in on the story stuff. Um, and so I want to see if that gets to a point where the story beats really hook me. I did mm. do a little bit more, even though I was saying, because I wasn't doing missions, I was like, I am just going to do the ed and I'm just going to travel around and uncover some more areas of these maps that are all fogged over. So yeah. I did, I made it to the big city, the Saint Denis or whatever it's called. Oh yeah. Um, actually the, the main reason I went that way is because I heard there's a swamp where you can find snakes. And I was like, I need to shoot, I need to kill a snake perfectly so I can have this hat. <laughs> Um, and I didn't get the snake, uh, but uh-huh. I'm still going. It's still to be determined. I mean, I don't like okay. it any less or more than I had last week. And I, and again, I know I had aired a lot of grievances, and I believe all those grievances that I aired. But however, I will say that still, like overall, they're all a bunch of little things. It's just that they're building up. There's not like one huge grievance. I'm like, this is the worst thing ever in the world. I just don't find it to be the best thing ever like everybody under the sun is painting oh, it to be. It seems right. like everybody's just looking at these rose-colored glasses and like, oh, it's Rockstar. Ah. And I'm just like, okay, well, let's look at it legit here. And that's the way that I okay. feel. I know See, I'm after, in the minority. I can tell that. But still. After the list, to me, it came across as, here's all the reasons why I hate this game. And I was like, oh, snap. Chris hates yeah, Red yeah, Dead yeah, so not. much. I, I, I thought don't, for sure you wouldn't be playing anymore. I, yeah, well, yeah, I mean... That's a fair. That's a fair assessment. Yeah, no, I, I, I can almost. I, I'm pretty sure that by next week you're probably moved on to something. If else. I make it to, if I make it to chapter three, and I'm, I don't know, I put yeah, in like two, three out. hours of that, and it's still not grabbing me. I'll probably yep. end up bouncing because I really yeah. want to get to the the Spider-Man DLCs. I haven't played either of them, there and then. Go. At, after around Christmas time, I'm assuming I'm going to have some gift cards. I'm really thinking I want to dive into the uh, the uh, Odyssey DLC. I think I want to buy that season pass. Oh, right. Because that story stuff seems kind of cool, and I really enjoyed being in there. And I jumped back in to grab my screenshots for our debate in the Discord, and I was like, man, this game is fun. And I was just running around doing some fun stuff. Uh, so I, I kind of would like to go back to that as well, but I just don't want to nice. spend the money right now because I'm trying to save my money for gifts for other people and everything. Well, and um, that, by that so, time, I think the third Spider-Man DLC will be out as well, right? I know, yeah, because there's one, uh, there is one coming out in December as well. Or did the December one already drop? I don't remember. It hasn't that, yet, no. Okay, yeah. So there's supposed to be at least three that we know of. So the, the one in December, I think, is supposed to be the last one. Well, Tur- the Turf Wars came out late in November, though, didn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah, they didn't yeah. say like the beginning of each month. They just said this month somewhere in this month and this month. So they're just kind of eking them out kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I did jump into the, the online part and like I just did like the first little story beats. I created mm-hmm. my character. I was like, I don't, I'm not happy with this character the way they look at all. <laughs> and then I did a few little things. I guess I don't want it's. I don't want to spoil anything for anybody who hadn't jumped in yet. But I did a few things, and that was it. So I haven't jumped back yeah. in. I don't really know that the online stuff's going to be my thing at all. I don't think I'll really dabble too much. Um, right. But the story stuff, I'm trying to continue on a little bit. And I do think I kind of like my horse now. So if my horse dies, I'm going to be bummed. That might be the thing that's like, all right, I'm out because my horse is. What's dead. your horse's name? Uh, my horse's name is Aomer, which is the name of uh, one of the people in the Rohirrim in Lord of the Rings. That sounds about right. <laughs> wow. I wanted to name it, if it would have been an all-white horse, I was going to name it Shadowfax, but I haven't gotten an all-white horse yet. So. Nice. Oh, that's funny. Shadowfax. I probably would have named mine Roach, so I'm right there with you. Oh, nice. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Um, like anyway, that. that is it for me. Back to you guys with the news. <laughs> <laughs> Chris McCracken. Okay, um, so, wow. Bethesda just didn't have a really good time. Oh, well, oh God, God, God. These guys. So, the latest kind of little thing that happened is uh, a lot of people that had ordered, they had done a collector's edition for Fallout 76. <laughs> and this collector's edition came with this. It actually looks kind of cool. It's a, it's a, a helmet from the Power Armor set. That's big enough that you can actually wear it. And I was like, oh, that looks kind of cool, especially for people who are really into the Fallout stuff. I bet that'd be an awesome thing to put on your shelf or, you know, wear around the house every now and then or at Halloween or something crazy like that. And it was advertised as coming with a canvas bag with which to house the Power Armor helmet. Then as people are starting to, were starting to get their collector's editions, they found out that, oh, actually, it's a really cheap, flimsy, can tear easily nylon bag. Mm-hmm. And a bunch of people just started kind of putting this out on Twitter and being like, I got my collector's edition and look, it's just a cheap nylon bag. The advertisements, the advertising image for the power armor that is still online right now says canvas bag. And it's wow. clear that it is not a canvas bag. Um, and so fallout had put out a tweet and they said, look, we understand and respect that there is some disappointment with the bag for the power arm edition. We're sorry. Please contact Bethesda support to provide <laughs> proof of your purchase. Oh, and no. we will like, grant you your account, 500 yep. atoms, which I guess is some type of in-game currency. Now, the f- humorously ironic thing is that another person <laughs> pointed out on Twitter, they said, ironically, 500 atoms won't even buy you the Fallout 76 Postman skin that actually comes with a canvas bag. It costs 700 mm. atoms. So no. a lot of people are like complaining, be like, look, this is... One thing is we're not getting what was advertised. Two, your make good is barely anything at all. <laughs> yeah, your make good is not making good. Yeah, exactly. Wow. So Bethesda, mm. a few days later, Bethesda put out another tweet and they said, we are finalizing manufacturing plans to replace the canvas bags for the Fallout 76 Power Armor editions. If you purchase the collector's edition, please visit and they give a URL and submit a ticket by January 31st, 2019. We'll arrange to send you a replacement as soon as the bags are ready. So good on them that they're yes, coming all good. the way around and making good on this. But it's just... It's nuts that it's like they can't stop screwing up. It's so, just one of those weird things. They keep tripping and falling down right in front of everybody. To add on to the stumble, I just read this morning that there was a security breach. Yes. And people oh, were getting yeah. sent people's addresses and stuff. Well, for, to I don't request. even think it was a security breach. I think it was just the way the website was la- like it was an accident like yeah, it's someone just was the like, way the websites acted up yeah, yeah, they they were like, it. I've, i have all of your addresses because i'm j- i'm receiving your requests for a refund yeah or like hi <laughs> i i tried to look up my thing and i'm seeing a list of everybody else's addresses and everything and then they proceed <laughs> to screenshot it and put it on twitter oh. yeah, it's like, almost like they're tweeting the you back okay do i have your address right here at beat saber 2587 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. any sense. come on now I know, that was a little weak. Let Uh, me ask, do you think this is the demise of the Fallout franchise? No. No. I I don't know if it's the demise, but you got to think... People are going to be giving a side eye for it. It's uh, ending on a bad note because Fallout 4 didn't have that great great of, you know... There were people that had issues with Fallout 4. There's a lot of people that have issues with this, and if you look just at their pipeline of what we know, granted, there's stuff that we may not know, but it's like... Elder Scrolls 6 and then that Starfield game like that's probably going to be yeah. their next two big releases and those are probably two three years apart if not right. more so we were already looking at maybe 10 years till the next Fallout game anyways will it be so in bad shape by then that they just abandon it 
I don't know. I mean, it, I don't know either. I, mean, I still think three is probably their most popular one. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people did play four, but a lot of people I really like New Vegas too. Yeah, that's what right. I hear. Yeah, that's very true. So I don't know, man. I just feel like this is this is a sign that this is this franchise is going down. Now, if they do like what they did with Ubisoft, take some time, which they will because they've got other games to put out. Take some time and and really kind of revamp it. You know, they could have a nice comeback with it, but. I, but you know, yeah. the, the crazy thing about that comparison is that I feel like people on the AC side, a lot of people complained about the mechanics. I don't think people tend to complain about the mechanics with Fallout. It's just the, the bugginess parts. Right, so do you think yeah. they'd really change so it that big. much? I mean, maybe. I don't know. I haven't yeah, played a Fallout, be right. so... I feel like there are a handful of Assassin's Creed games where people are like, that's the worst game ever, and they still have yeah. managed to keep going and get better. Yeah. Right. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I yeah, I mean, I did, I did that with AC, too. I mean, I some of the controls and the, the parkour was absolutely frustrating, but you just kind of grin and bear it, and you kind of learn some of the mechanics of, okay, so if I just go this way instead of this way, it's, it's not going to trigger that, and, mm -hmm. and I'm going to climb up on a table. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's, you, know, you just kind of grin and bear it. But, yeah, I'm just like, you know, Bethesda, I'm kind of excited for Bethesda on these other games, mm -hmm. and, but is that going to kind of kill or at least decrease the value of what fallout used to be and i think i, I definitely think the value of fallout is it has decreased definitely but because of all these problems they're having and the fact that it's not selling as well as it should but you know they can they can turn it around but yeah you know if, if they don't after this next one you know i don't know we'll see i i mean they're having a bad couple of weeks but i'm sure in the future it'll just be a oh man remember how Mm -hmm. They struggled yes, with that opening of true. 76. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, are, that's right. You know, I feel like it. they are a very responsible developer and they, they definitely want to make sure that they take care of their people and take care of their consumers. And so, you know, oh, I, yeah. I, they'll do they'll do right by it. You see how uh, No Man's Sky got turned around. And I feel like exactly. all the people that play it are absolutely in love with it now. So right. Yeah, that's right. Good, especially yeah. being a game yeah. as a service because it's an online game, they could definitely turn it around to where people will yep. forget about it. Yep. 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 yep, just throwing that out there for conversation. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So you guys remember, uh... <laughs> you guys remember the rapper Soldier Boy? Oh, my gosh. Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> this guy. This joker, man. Listen. I get that everybody needs a hustle. Mm-hmm. But this guy, I don't know who he's working with or who's around that said this was a good idea. So he launched yesterday, Wednesday... His video game console and handheld video game console <laughs> called the Soldier Game Console. <laughs> and <laughs> listen, it is such a bad You had me at Soldier. Idea. <laughs> and really, <laughs> I like, I could. Have you ever drove by something that you're like, oh, I shouldn't look at that, like roadkill or something like oh, that, yeah. but you yep. stare at it anyway? <laughs> mm -hmm. This was me with this Soldier Boy story y yesterday. Yep. I don't even know how I stumbled upon his Twitter, um, but this was before the news had broke. This was like, I saw it two hours after he announced it on his Twitter, and he's selling these quote-unquote game consoles with like, you know, one's got 800 games built in, the handheld version has like 3,000 games built in. Wow. And he's selling these things for, well, now they're on sale for $150. Mm -hmm. wow. But when you look at like the brand name, it's like Soldier Game by An Ann Burnick. And then you're like, I was like, who the heck is Ann Burnick? And mm -hmm. then you're like, oh, Ann Burnick's got a Amazon page. Oh, the game console over there is eighty dollars. Like it's uh -uh. it's it's such a bad idea that like somebody was like, "Oh man, this is what you do, baby. You want to get in the gaming space? Then you go, you buy these these games from China, and then you resell it." But like, it's nothing that he's like manufacturing. It's nothing that even has his logos on it. I was going to say, is there any custom no, skin or it's any? The oh same my gosh. exact pictures that are on yeah. the Ambernick website. <laughs> That's and, hilarious. And, and like it's the saddest thing ever. And so like I went to wow. his Twitter and his Instagram just to see like what he's into right now, what he's doing. Um because he had, you know, a ginormous song, you know, mm -hmm. five, six years ago. Um, and that's about it. And, yeah, and then but then he had like another one. He had like another like pseudo hit. 
And I'm like, dude, he is struggling. Do music, bro. Like, what? What is this? Like, what are those? You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like, it's, exactly. It's like the it's the worst. Wow. It's like if I did it and I was like, oh yeah, this is called the Chubby Ninja Game Console. Y'all need to go get it. It looks like a broke Xbox One X, and it's wired controllers. Yep. I, the 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 handheld is like. And I wasn't going to rip him that bad. Like when I first saw it, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to bring it up as news. But like the more I looked into it, I was like, bro, you got to be kidding me. Like your handheld has a three inch screen, a three inch screen just for like comparison. (laughs) The Nintendo Switch screen is six inches, 6.1 if I was going to be exact. Well, even on top of all this craziness, at the same time, it's also like, and how is this legal? Because these are all emulated games on here that are where the yeah, what were the games? owned by other people. It's like, how is this even going to work? Tim, there's no list of games, bro. No, this is like the gosh. most broke down, like copy and paste, except put soldier at the beginning of stuff thing sure. I've ever seen. Like for some reason, it says age over three years old. Is that the age of how long these have been out? <laughs> is that the age of the people that should be playing it? 3,000 built in games. And this is that says type for Switch, 3DS, Vita, Neo Geo, Game Boy Color, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, held, handheld game players. That's the, mm. the, the type. Oh, that's hilarious. And so it's just like, it's the saddest thing. So he's selling a console, a handheld, headphones, a, 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 a tablet knockoff, which is still in the picture. Got the other people's logos on them. <laughs> Jeez. Like whatever D D F is, um, wow. a watch like the Soldier Watch, which is a rip off Soldier of, Pods. <laughs> yeah, Soldier Pods, so like AirPods, but like what? I Soldier mean, branded? but the, 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 the watch is nineteen twenty dollars. If that tells you anything, the Soldier Pods are ten dollars. You know, AirPods are a hundred and fifty bucks or two hundred dollars. Like anyway, Soldier Boy, don't do this, man. Like. It is not he, too well, late to just it. close up shop. <laughs> is you, it in, it's you, called Soldier Games? It's called, the website is soldierwatch.com. S-O-U-L-J-A watch.com. It's sad. It's really, really, really sad. This is probably as good a time as any to announce that I am now selling breath mints. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they do say Altoids on the can, but <laughs> yeah. they're $35 each. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yes. And there's no mm, Ed Placentia logo or anything. No, 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 no. no. But the, the sad thing is, it's like in his own description for these things is who these things are by. So if you look them up, you get all this stuff for over half off of what he's selling. It. That's so funny. Wow. Somebody needs a... But there's no economics. I know we'd have to sell a million of these things to make any money. You know what I'm saying? Like for what he's flexing on Instagram, I don't know Instagram and Twitter is not real life, but like for what he's flexing, you're like, you don't need the $30 you're going to make off this game console after you buy it at full price from these other people and then resell it after shipping to somebody else. Yeah. (laughs) You don't need that. You need to get in the studio is what you need to do. (laughs) Yeah, It's killing me. It's killing me. Mm. Chris, yeah, that's yeah. Yikes. Um, so there's a bunch of di- we're hearing a lot of different things about uh, the game awards and who all is going to be presenting there and who all's and kind of getting little bits and hints about what uh, games might be not launched there but kind of revealed there or teased there. And one of the things that was kind of rumored really heavily for a long time, and anybody who was at uh, episode 300 will know that. <laughs> We had someone who was really of the in the camp that Rocksteady Games is going to be making a Superman game. It's been heavily rumored, and Old Nova Beyond even dressed up as Superman, thinking, "Yes, it's going to be revealed." Yeah, he did. Mm-hmm. And then it it didn't show up, but people were keeping the faith, like, "Hey, they're going to do that." So Rocksteady put out a tweet uh, talking about the Game Awards, and they said, "Looking forward to the hashtag the Game Awards this year. We're still hard at work on development." In our development bunker, so don't expect an announcement from Rock St- at Rocksteady Games. When it's ready to show you, we'll be the first to let you know. Spoiler, it's not Superman. So, uh, unfortunately, uh, it looks like it. straight from the horse's mouth, it's not going to be a Superman game. So, I mean, who knows? Maybe they could just be like, psych, 
actually it is and then bam hits you in the face with it but i'm going to take their no, for their no, word no and be like yeah. nah at least from rocksteady it looks like there's not going to be a superman game so um sticking with that too real quick just to put it out there they start at 8 30 eastern time uh tonight mm -hmm. so uh <laughs> you will have missed it if you're getting your news from us yeah um <laughs> And then, but what you, welcome. what you might not miss is on the 9th, uh, which is Sunday, on CBS, we talked about it, the Gamers' Choice Awards. It's mm -hmm. going to follow um, one of the football games that, that's playing on CBS. So it's after the uh, 12 o'clock game. Um, so you know how those go. I don't know if anybody was a big fan of, the, uh, of Amazing Race, which I used to be. Anything mm -hmm. that, that follows a football show. game. It doesn't usually start on time, especially if the football game goes into overtime. Right. Mm -hmm. Football will, you know, has uh, carte blanche when it comes yeah. to football. Uh, football <laughs> trumps anything <laughs> exactly. At that point. So right now the schedule is that four o'clock uh, after that game um, is the Gamers Choice Awards, and Kiss is opening up the first what? inaugural uh, Gamers Choice Awards. Really? Mm. That's what they're for and gamers. They're, Finger yeah. on the pulse. Uh, exactly. <laughs> Why they're doing they that. They should have Soldier Boy out there. Th they're I think Soldier Boy needs to open <laughs> exactly. up. Exactly. <laughs> they're, um, they're kicking off their final tour, which is the end yep. of the real end of the road world tour in January. So I think that this is their little get out to let everybody know that that's happening. Mm. Huh. <laughs> it's their, hey, we know video games is a booming industry. Let's kick our tour off right. Yeah, it's the, with, uh, why you start your show with Kiss? I have no idea. It's exactly. another way of saying, "Hey, if you're late to the program, it's cool." <laughs> exactly. Yeah. exactly. No rush. Exactly. You'll be all right. Um, sorry, we're gonna rush through the show a little bit because I've got to go because I've got to get all my whole family up. Um, but uh, Ed, did you have anything to uh, share? You know, I, I will just say that uh, new on the YouTube channel this week, we've got uh, the first two Spider-Man DLCs and my playthrough Woo. of Runner 3. Nice. Yeah, nice. Excellent. And you made it, too. And you made yeah. it without cussing. I did, so I can put it up on our YouTube channel. Yay, yeah, even he, better. He did announce early on, he was like, well, there's going to be some swears on this stream. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and he ended up making it. I made it. Yeah, you did. Good job, buddy. Thanks. Every week we ask you guys a question. Last week was no different. We asked you, what's your favorite rhythm-based game? Starting mm. over at Twitter, we got Donnie at Plan Nintendo. Good to see, hear from you again. It's hard not to say rock band and or guitar hero, but in 2018, the answer is hands down Beat Saber. Yeah. Spe special shout out to Rhythm Haven, Rhythm Heaven, and uh, Hatsune Miku. Yeah. I've never heard of those. Me uh, At G Hammocks 14, my introduction to the genre was Parappa the Rapper, and it's still the first game my mind goes to. There nice. you go. At Rue Runs, Ru Runs and Games, still Runner 2. There you go. I like that. Nice. Over on Facebook, we got Darius Stewart. It's a toss-up between frequency and amplitude on the PS2. These were the predecessors to Guitar Hero. The unique songs mm. and steep online competition kept me going. Nice. nice. Nick uh, Schaefer, barring DDR, probably Elite Beat Agents. You guys ever heard of that, Elite Beat Agents? No. I feel like I've, I've heard, heard that heard name, that. but I don't know what it is, or I've not played it. Yeah, I don't know that one. Uh... <laughs> Daniel Faru Faruja Faruja mm -hmm. Faruja yeah he gave me a little like pronunciation thing at the end but I don't know how to read those either all right <laughs> although not strictly <laughs> although not strictly a rhythm game the reward levels on Raymond Legends where you jump punch and run in time to Black Betty just feel amazing uh oh just feel amazing and are my favorite spin on this it feels seamlessly choreographed to the music. Nice. nice. Somebody else said Raymond too. Over on Discordia, B Dog 1221, this was too easy. Parappa the Rapper. I pretty much have all of those incredible songs memorized and still listen to them often. Every single day, stress comes in every way. I ain't got no time for nobody. Come on, nice. man. That's funny. 
Uh, Lindy Yu, I don't really know how to say that, but our girl here in Nashville who repping Extra Life really hard. Oh my gosh, DDR all the way. When I was in high school, I spent at least two days a week during the summer at the arcade in the mall playing and practicing. It got to the point that the people that worked there knew me by name. I had a friend that lived not too far from school that got, got it when it came to PS2 and I would go to her house at least once a week, invited or not, and wear mm. out those terrible portable pads. <laughs> they were so slippery. Oh my gosh. Bad Gamer Elite, that limb guy. Fantasia Music Evolved is amazing, and I love it so much. Oh but yeah, that's a good one. It is. But my number one is Dance Central 3. I use all, oh, the, wow. I use all the songs from the first two and look ridiculous doing it. Great exercise, too. Mm -hmm. I like that. Thank you guys so much for answering the question of the week. It's such a nice rundown memory lane because I feel like uh, rhythm games had a boom in the early 2000s. And yeah. it is not quite as booming as it used to be. Right. You know where to find us. Facebook.com slash Married to the Games. Twitter.com slash MTTG cast. Like Ed said, YouTube.com slash Married to the Games. Now on Patreon. Patreon dot com slash mttg if you want to throw a dollar in the tip jar we would greatly greatly appreciate it and for those that are still doing extra life man we got them going till the end of the year extra dash life dot org slash team slash mttg come support them cheerings and uh tim rate us on itunes some game can get at least six hours of sleep and dream of that sweet sweet soldier game console <laughs> nice <laughs> Nice. I like it. Well, let's get into some questions. All right, I'm going to start off real quick. Big, big, big shout out to our boy, Bobby Trice. Oh my gosh. Got man. an MTTG tattoo on his leg. It wow. is beautiful. I love it. Yep. And he, and this is something really sweet that he wrote on Discord. Through good and bad times, known or not known, this community, this podcast, and the guys that run the show have helped me along in this journey called life. And for that, I am thankful and blessed. That Dude, is awesome. Dude is a legend. Thank man. you, man. Dude, Amazing. Man. That tattoo looks awesome. I'm so yes. it's so it, it's honored. like the 2.0 version. Yeah, it really like is. He, yeah. he updated it to the 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 newest PlayStation controller, and then uh, changed the wedding people on top, and then got the oh. MTTG put on top. It's, I, it's, I, it's I, fantastic. I was, I was feeling some kind of way. Yeah, that's so right. To be completely exactly. honest, I was feeling really mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, it, it was felt awesome. really really cool. All right, starting with email, always mail, uh, mailbag at marrieddothegames.com. You can hit us up there. Martin Weaver, with Christmas coming up and I'm kind of wanting to get my son an NBA game, maybe for the Xbox, I've heard some different opinions and wonder, wondered if you guys had an opinion on which NBA game is better, NBA 2K or NBA Live and why? No idea. No clue. Uh, I've, I've, I've not, not actually, played Live, yeah, but you I've, know, you stick with the stuff that's huge is what I would tell you. I will say I listen to uh, a couple of different podcasts that where a lot of people play that really focus in on the sports games uh, a lot more than we do here. And NBA 2K, I feel like, has been the clear front runner for a couple of years now. But I've heard lots of good things that live has getting gotten a lot better. So I don't really think you could go wrong either way. But if you hmm. if you wanted like the sure, sure bet, it's probably going to be the 2K. I feel like they're still a little bit ahead. Yeah. And his buddies are probably playing it. Yeah. So yeah. get him the game. He can get online and play mm -hmm. with his friends. Yeah, there you that's go. Very, that's, that's good. Good, good mm -hmm. advice. All right, moving on to Discord. Uh, Fluxel, it's the time of year for wish lists. What is the top item on your gaming wish list this year? You can't say gift cards. Ooh. I mean, if somebody was going to buy me something gaming, I mean, just because of Beat Saber alone, I wouldn't be mad. Oh, yeah. If somebody oh, got me go. a, that old PSVR. System seller. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Chris? Uh, shoot, man, that's hard because I actually don't know. Really what I want is... The Soldier Game console? Well, yeah, man. I, mean, <laughs> I took the words right out of my mouth. I want to crank that, for real. Uh, <laughs> nice. Uh, nice. 
I mean, the only thing that I want is to build up my my wallet currency so that I can buy games that are coming out, like all the ones that are coming out in February. Mm-hmm. I pretty much have all the games that are out right now that I wanted to really get into. So I I know he just said not to say it, but gift cards really my only answer. Mm-hmm. Edward? Hmm. It's not, I guess, not exclusively for gaming, but I wouldn't be mad if we had a slightly bigger television. Oh, Ooh, there you go. that you could definitely get, brother. Let That's, me ask you this. Yeah. Do you have a place for a second television? Because I know you only have one. Uh, I would probably uh, move the one we have now up into the office here. Ah, there nice. you go. Yeah. There you go. Wall you mount feel that, like you're, that junk. You know, taking up the TV when you're doing your thing. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Love it. Love Timothy? It. Yeah, I just want more games. Just keep bringing out these games. I don't want any more delays. I want games. I want my Last of Us two. I want. I There's want things time. happening. December I know, right? 31st. There's still time. December thirty first. But I just want games. I want games to come out. Let's do this. I like. And it. And then I'll use my gift cards on it. There you go. All right, Stump Water Jack. Knife fight or gunfight? Knife fight. Gunfight. Ooh, gunfight. Mm-mm, y'all are crazy. Uh, I, yeah. I, I, I just got finished listening to Hamilton. I, I think I could live through a knife fight. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> See, to, to me, it depends on the situation. If we're talking zombie apocalypse, definitely knife fight. You got to be quiet. If it, but it just in general, probably gunfight because it'll it'll last it'll last way less. No, than a knife fight. yeah, knife fight. All right, all right. There you go. Uh, bad gamer elite ever mistakenly started an uncontrolled fire in the house. Asking for a friend. What? <laughs> what? I have not. Dude, you, <laughs> no. Lem, you, Lem, you, next week you got some splaining to do, man. <laughs> yeah, I want to know yeah. what's going on. You can't, uh, you can't you vague can't... book on Discord about that, Lem. Yeah, oh, you can't I throw that little nugget out and not explain it. Yeah. <laughs> what? I hope. I hope everyone's okay. An yeah. Uncontrollable yeah. fire. Uncontrolled right? fire in the house. I yeah. hope it got controlled. I know, yeah, right? That's right. Jeez, Louise. Yep. All right. Here we go. Tufus. We all know the terrible record of turning video games into movies, but the record on turning movies into video games is also pretty hit and miss. That said, what movies, current or classic, do you think could be turned into a good game? Personally, I think the Mission Impossible movies could be turned into great games if yeah. you made it for a console more than uh, recent than the N64. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, yeah, that is a good question. And I kind of like his answer. I think a Mission Impossible game would be great. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think um, now it would take some doing and it would be a little confusing. But I love Inception and it's already Ooh, got like a video yeah. game-esque quality to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's the for Nolan Collection and, series. Yeah, yeah. where the, the bad guys can't shoot for crap and people are running on walls and stuff. And mm-hmm. so I, I, I would say Inception. Christopher? So you guys remember the arcade game Narc, right? No. Nope. No. no. You don't Not remember the game where you're oh, walking yes, around as yes, a cop yes. and you're like sh- shooting all the drugs right. and other thing and criminals? I do remember that. Uh-huh. I would want a game that looks and plays like that, but set in the universe and you play as the two brothers from Boondock Saints. Ooh. I think that'd be so it wouldn't oh, make any sense, but I think it'd be a great fun. idea. <laughs> it wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't, but That's I would funny. totally play that game. Tim, what say you? Uh, I don't know. I would think, um, oh man, I had something in my head and I just lost it. Oh freak. I don't know. Come back to me. Wonderful life. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh no i'm sorry uh i would do something like and it's kind of been done with mafia and mafia 3 and all that stuff but like a narcos where you know it's like the the drug trafficking kind of your you could be an fbi uh the dea agent or something like that and kind of go that mm. route but it, it's kind mm. of been done before but man i love that series oh narcos is fantastic there you go there you go i like that edward I bet in the right hands, someone could make a good Jason Bourne game. There you go. Oh, yeah. there you go. Yeah, you could. I like that. I like that a lot, too. Yep. All right, we got everybody? Yeah. All right, moving on to Facebook. Brian Nebel. Somehow you just got transported into a video game. Again, it seems like. We always get these. Yeah. You are just starting <laughs> your quest, so it's time to customize yourself. What's your race, class, fighting skill, and what pet follows you everywhere? For example, I'll be a wizard. Tank, who fights with an axe staff, and my pet is a psychic chinchilla. <laughs> what the That's Neebs. That is yeah, Neebs for you. That's very Neebs. Very Neebs. We're, we're, we're basically building our D&D characters right now, you guys. <laughs> it's exactly right. Yep. I'm going to be an elf uh, tw- <laughs> 20 class, Yeah. and my pet will be a dragon. 
Um, there. I usually like going. Uh, good job, Tim. I like going um, robot. Usually I go human, Ooh. but like when I, when we yeah. played Destiny, I always went robot, and I, yeah, I don't mind so being I. robot. Um, so there's not really a race there, uh, or a. Uh, I can think that covers a couple answers, and then I, I would want like a a lioness, like a a lion mm. following me around. Ooh, all right, because uh, if you look at how the animal kingdom works, <laughs> the male <laughs> kind of top dog much. there, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're uh, pretty much up there. Yep, Chris. Um, I don't. Uh, what are what are the characters that are usually real stealthy? Is that rogues? Are those? Is that what? Sure. Okay, we'll go with yes. that. I would do a rogue yeah. <laughs> to play stealthy. Um, and my power Good animal call. would be some type of giant bird or dragon, something that I could say like "go" and it would swoop down and grab my enemy and take him away. Perfect. Ooh, I like I that. Like Ed, I'll just be a. Whenever they, you get the choice, I'm. All, I always choose human, uh, and I'll be. Um, I'll be like a white slash Mexican mix, and oh my, gosh. my uh, animal, or Hispanic, or or that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll uh, I'll use a monkey, and uh, I'll say go, and he'll swoop in and and bite people's faces. I like it. And whenever he's yeah, not biting it. people's faces, he'll just hang out with Tim. Hey, yeah, there you Tim go. Tim loves monkeys. <laughs> no, I sure do. Don't I ever? Mm-hmm. Ugh. All right. All right. Um. I'm, forgive me if I mess up this name. Uh, Uniher Venegas. What up, fellas? New to the podcast and community, so not sure if this question has ever been asked. So have you guys ever got into a fist fight with a friend, sibling, cousin, or other over a video game? What game cons- What game and console and <laughs> oh, why? That's hilarious. By the way, on Red Dead 2, make sure you smoke or discard your premium cigarettes so you can pick up more and collect the cards. I've had that to is retrie- true. I've had to retrace my steps from chapter five to the beginning. And can you maintain, and can you maintain Arthur's weight? <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> Man, thank you so much for the question. And thank you yes. for joining this amazing uh, community. And uh, I have not been into a fist fight with anybody over a game. I have not. I can't wait to get to Gabe's answer. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't <laughs> yeah, been this in a fist fight over a game. I, I was just it's got to be little, his brother. It's, it's just my little brother. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I was going to say he, it's got to be his brother. He loved uh, just jacking with me like that. And so... You know, you guys know about the Shinmu, how I lost my save file because of mm-hmm. him. Um, games, the the top of the PlayStation just popped open because of him. Uh, I mean, he just used to pick at me because he knew how like how serious I took it. And so there have been <laughs> plenty of fights over video games in my house. That is awesome. Mm-hmm. I love that. All right, moving on. Last one on Twitter, uh, at Gabe56. Five six life. What was your go to late night gaming food before you were married? I would make a giant quesadilla and put bologna in it. Now that I'm married, it's more like a glass what? of water when I stay up or my snack on my kids' <laughs> Halloween candy. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh. Hashtag um, married life, baby. That is so true. <laughs> that's funny. I um mine were um the combos. Uh, the oh pretzels my gosh. With the cheese in the middle. Did you like the pizza flavor one? Well, here's the thing. I was really broke. And so I just ate what my roommate brought home from work. Oh, and nice. so I okay. didn't really like have the option. Like, I'm going to go out and buy me some combos because I hated them at first. But I was so hungry that my mouth learned to like them. And so uh, I would pop those while I played back in the day. Edward? Um, I, I think maybe pizza. Nothing too crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Chris? Yeah, mine's probably the same answer, pizza, because I'm even been when I was younger, I rarely do I eat while I'm gaming because I just don't want to get yeah. the controller all nasty. Right. Mm-hmm. So I would it would be more like, okay, now my brother's gonna play a few rounds of let's say uh, Street yep. Fighter or something, and now I'll go to the kitchen, go get something to eat it, and then come back. Mm-hmm. I rarely did it while I was gaming. There you go. Mine would be a Domino's pizza as well. Just order that, get that, and start chowing down. Yes, there sir. Yes, sir. That is it for all the questions. Thank you, everybody. We appreciate it. Yes, appreciate it. The question for you guys, you know, we come to the end of the year and you start asking kind of the year long questions. Um, And so and I don't know if we've asked this one before. What game this year did you really want to play but didn't get to? What game Hmm. this year did you really want to play but didn't get to? Mine was Far Cry 5. I really oh. wanted to play Far Cry 5. 
and I never got around to doing it. And now I'm thinking about it, I should have done it for Extra Life because that would have been fun. Oh, that would have been fun. Chris, yeah. was there any games that, that were kind of out floating around and you didn't get to it and you were like, shoot, I kind of really wanted to get to that game this year? Oddly enough, this is one of the only years where every game I wanted to play, I played because kind of my, my goal or whatever was to play at least 10 2018 games. Yeah. And on top, the only game that I would have said would have been um, uh, Forza Horizon 4, but I did get it because I have Game Pass and it came with that. So yeah. This is the first year where I got to play everything I really was looking forward to. Nice. Good job. Edward? Yeah, I'm the same as Chris. I had my eyes set on specific games and was able to, to play them all and uh, was very, uh, very fortunate to get to do so. There you go. Router? So I poo-pooed Spider-Man until you guys basically convinced me and I still haven't picked it up yet, but I'm going to. It's definitely one of the, I probably after AC Odyssey, I'm going to go back and pick that up. There you go. Nice. nice. Well, let us know what game you really want to play this year, but some reason didn't get to it. And we will talk about it next week. Thank you guys so much for being here. Edward, thank you mm -hmm. so much for editing. I'm sorry. I have to go so quickly, but get three those children better, man. Exactly. Yeah. Better. Thank you. 325 in the books. And we will talk to you guys next week. I Sounds love it. Good. Yeah. I'm Gabe Patillo. That is Tim Router. That is Ed Placencia. That is Chris McCracken. And we are married to the games and we are up out this thing. Bam!